Greetings, Earth people, and welcome to the final match of the Masters 2023 WSBA State Championships. And what an explosive yet very short race to six this is going to be between, between two players, by all accounts, this tournament have been playing close to perfect. I know Jeremy has, because I've been watching him. And uh, Dave Coles is the one that's knocked everybody else onto the loser side. Well, and Dave obviously won the Masters Division 10 ball uh, earlier in the, in the week here. So can he make it? Beating out uh, Chris Bondi in that 10 ball matchup. Yeah. Well, Chris knocked Dave in the 10 ball into the loser's side. And then uh, Dave came back and then double dipped. Oh, him. and that's the first time I've seen him do that. He's been controlling and hitting that break shot so well, uh, controlling the cue ball. And in this match, just gave it a little bit more. And in a short race to six, massive turning point in the match. That's that foul break shot. And like he's been doing, he's been opening up the balls and leaving nice wide open layouts. Dave, the world is your lobster. That's not how that goes. You must be from a foreign land. I was it with is this chick definitely one. wide open. I was with, with this chick one time. She was so classy. She didn't have crabs. She had lobsters. <laughs> Horrible. It's PG, though, still. Yeah. Crazy. Seafood is still allowed to talk about. It's not incorrect. All right, Dave, just trying to figure out where he's going to start. Yeah, so he's saying, like, just give me a nice little angle on this 13, and I'll shoot the nine Sweet little draw shot over, get on the 14. Get these balls up table gone. Yeah, patterns within patterns. That's what you'll notice, you know, a lot of times, especially when you're watching the better players, they'll pick out sides of the table to clear or areas where they don't have to move the ball a whole lot. Uh, so patterns within patterns. Yeah, Making sure you've still got an angle here. Uh, I believe the race should be to seven. I think that's correct. Is it? <clears throat> oh, because Dave, of yeah, course, is still undefe side. undefeated. And he's been playing races to seven the whole time. So where it says race to uh -oh. six on our score sheet, is that us or do they have that on theirs too? Well, that's going to change plans. That's... Uh, wow. Well, let me look on the app and I'll tell you what the race is to because it'll say in there. How did he let that happen? I mean, that that's one little slip. That's our game, isn't it? But I think he's still got this 11. I don't know that it's easy, but I think he's got to drop spin around it a little bit. Well, I think it's a good old bendy shot, that one. I think the edge of the two ball is kind of in the way. So he's... Moderate, yeah, not much. Yeah, yeah, just moderately. Yeah. And he doesn't look even... Yeah, yeah it's a good shot. Just barely got there uh, enough to make that shot. Good oh. shot here. He's going to draw down the rail for the 12 in the side next. So he'll just draw between the eight ball and the rail. Yep, right where he's lining up. Perfect. Should be able to roll straight forward from there. Didn't have too much issue with the two ball, but just it would be in mind. Yeah, plenty of room. Stop shot, just maybe an inch or two a draw, and we're sitting perfect. Dave going to take down this first rack. Jeremy scratching on the break. Yeah. 1-0, Mr. Coles. And breaking. Can I call him Mr. Coles and then Junior? Mr. Coles, Junior. Sure Just doesn't can. seem right. 
Wow. That's how we identify, so cool. All right, race to seven, says Patrick. He must have got there before I did, which isn't hard to believe. Right. Well, uh, we'd better change that graphic. You want to run out there? Oh, right. is it out there? Yeah. Is that what they have there? Well, I can't do, do they it. know? I can do Well, I don't know. I'll talk to them real yeah. quick. Do you want to go out? Yeah, sure. All, All right. right. Yeah, hopefully they haven't started this match thinking it's a race to six, because that's what's on their score scoreboard that the players have, as long as they're both aware of it. Now, Jeremy's the only one who was playing races to six, because he... Does Jeremy know? Because he was the one who was playing on the on the one loss side. He's been playing races to six. Dave just didn't know to change it. It's not his job. No, I know. I just want to make sure Jeremy's aware that his race just went up. He was, he's been playing races to six. Yeah, he does know. He, I, I mean, I can't imagine he wouldn't. Dave with the second ball break. Looks like he just barely clips the edge of the one when he hits that. Or the head ball, I should say. I don't know that it worked, though. Did he make a ball? Negative, Captain. So he hit the edge of the four just coming in? No. No, it was clean. All right, we got the finals of the WSPA 2023 singles. Masters 8 ball going on right now. Jeremy Fetkenhauer needing to come in here and double dip Dave Coles Jr. Quite the task. If anybody's up for it, though, Jeremy is it. <coughs> so Jeremy makes his decisions pretty quickly most of the time. And he's got... He's just absolutely fine with the 11 ball somehow. Yeah, I don't think there's an issue with the 11, really. That, you get that off the, the 9, side. really. No, it goes straight in. I, the issue is getting the angle right here off this 10 to bump the 7. Bump the 7? Off the 9. So shoot the 10. Oh, to, to yeah, get the an angle right to, there in that little window. You yeah, see. he's just about perfect to get there. He's just going to oh. stop this right there, slide over maybe a touch, but he's really got, yep. Yeah, you could also well, go, he's even better. Rail out. Your position on the 11 could also be on the other side of the five uh, if you want to play it off the three ball. Yeah, he. I like this better. He's going to just go straight forward and back out and kind of maybe bump the one coming off the, the side rail and back out. Don't bump the five. Yeah, Almost so he didn't quite it. bump the one, but he still got right where he needed to yeah, be. So 11 to the 12 to the 14. Play a little kiss the on the back side of the five there, was he? It have ended up perfect on the 11. I don't know if he was trying to play that kiss. I think you end up uh, having to play off the three then. This is a good shot. Right where he wants to be, I think. Oh, he did skin that three on the way in. Did you see it? No. Oh, yeah, he just took that off just a little bit. Didn't affect him just for sure, but uh, just brushed it. See it move? No. Maybe it was my eyes. The well, I didn't see the shot that I cut right, right before it shot. We'll have to take a look at it again in a minute. No, it shot. Tight table. Well, so a single error by each player causes the other to get the score so can we take a look at that shot again please? yeah uh, we can and now when i saw it the second time i'm not sure that it did but <laughs> might have been just the lighting i thought it just barely does glanced the 11 it. hit the three is the question yeah on the left hand view Well, it must have just been the lighting I no, saw because it's no. not even close. 
Just my eyes, I guess. Chris G is right. We need a bigger screen back here. Yeah. <clears throat> Next time, we'll make sure we have one for state. Can't miss it. We'll have pool balls the size of, like, softballs on the screen. Big, you're trying to say. Yeah, the bigger the screen, the bigger the pool ball. That's right. 75 inch. We don't need to see the table if it's that big in front of us. All right. It's not going to jump the cue ball off the table this time, but when you consider how the angle of the cue stick there, it is kind of like a little jump shot every time you hit the ball, isn't it? It's going to hit the middle of the cue ball. Jeremy's breaking head ball, and now he scratched again. So that's two breaks, two scratches, yeah. one off the table, one in the hole. And that is what's different about his, his match this time to the other two that I watched him play, uh, where he was play breaking perfect, perfectly, you know, quite well. Sorry, guys, say. I'll catch up to chat here. I haven't really been paying much attention. Oh, you guys are just babbling right along with me. There you go. He's going to pick the 11 ball out of there. <laughs> the size of Chinese balloons. Oh, yeah. Get it. Funny. So Again, you need nothing's to get, you really need to in get trouble. The, the 15, yeah, but they're sort of covering each other awkwardly, and so he's he wants to take the 11 ball out cause, just because it opens things up. The 15 kind of has to be get gone fairly soon to allow passage for other balls. That's good here because the 11, 14 really are the two balls that are confused here. The 15 and the 13 aren't as bad. Yeah, and because the where the four ball and the six ball are, these stripes don't go into sort of long pockets up table. There is one. So I was wondering if he was going to take a little bump on the 14 and just get it out there. So Yeah, this is looking good. I mean, now it's just you've got the two balls opposite end of the table, but they lead into the eight fine, so Clear the endies on, and he'll come down table using the 10 ball. 10 to the 9 transition because of where the 4 is is a little bit tricky, but. Do you at some point play the 13-15 combination, or is that just silly? I don't think there's any reason to. I mean, the only reason is where the, the 8 is sitting. Shoot the 15 first, and then the pocket's open for the 13. She's looking at that angle on the 10, because he's got to go from the 10 to the 9. Well, well, that's good, too. The 14 to the 9 would work. 14, 9 back out to the 10. He yeah, well, needs to maintain good control of his position when he gets on the 10. Well, he's got it worked out, so let's watch him go to work. Dave is an extremely good planner. He, he views every shot. You'll see him get down on just about every possibility just to check. It's one of the things I really uh, appreciate about Dave's game is you'll see him almost line up every shot, you know. When there's a debate. So he's going to come one one time across, shoot the uh, nine in the same pocket he's going to pocket the ten ball in. Or two times across and shoot it the other way. Oh. Uh-oh. Try to put a ton inside spin on it. Maybe you should have listened to you instead of, of trying to get the uh, be more nervous. Less inside spin. Yeah, but you got to hit it so hard. Yeah, 
This one you have to hit the right speed, otherwise you miss the shot. Well, Jeremy happy that his scratch on the break did not cost him two games. Yeah. And I'm really honestly quite surprised it didn't. I thought Dave would be out of that rack for sure. He's got a nice angle on the 9, 15, 13, 8. You know, when you're playing a soft lot of spin shot like Dave just shot, it's kind of a mass A shot, really, isn't it? All that spin and... Well, your buddy Andrew's online right now saying hi to you. Who's that? Your buddy Andrew. Andrew Donald from... You got uh, it. St Stevenage in England is watching. Thanks for tuning in, Andy. If you just tuned in, Andrew, this is the final of the Wisconsin State Pool Champions Masters Division. You tuned in at the right moment. And he's calling, he's uh, greetings from where? Uh, Stevenage, which is almost. Just... No, Cidershire. Cidershire? No. Uh, so you're talking about Wibbeliscombe in Somerset, where me and Andy grew up. He said, greetings from the Cidershire. Cidershire. So he's somewhere that uh, makes a lot of cider, uh, which, as you know, is kind of like wine only made out of I apples. I got it. it. says he's in Wibby. Oh, that's what he means. Okay, he's back uh, back in Wibby visiting the parents. Nice shot there by Jeremy. Open Just stop in and say hi to my dad while you're there, Andy. He's, he's in good mood these days. Seven ball is his choice here. He's got a roll for the two ball, doesn't he? Right across the table. Well struck and ends up just about perfect. Yeah, race to seven has been the whole tournament, but... Uh, they could go one race longer for the finals, which sometimes makes it a little more interesting than a double dip scenario. I think. Right. The final of a double elu double elimination. So if Jeremy wins this match, they're going to right away start their second match. And of course, if Dave wins, he's undefeated this entire tournament, and uh, that's it. One match is all he needs. The pace is picked up as the figuring's done. He's just got to pocket the balls. Nothing to puzzle. Yeah, and Dave really let one go there, didn't he? Yeah, that's a, he had a sort first of a miss. A I've watched position. quite a few of his matches, and that's the first blatant and miss that I've seen from him where he's actually not pocketed You can't out. show Jeremy any weakness, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. Onward we go. Jeremy Fetkenhard taking the lead in this second or in this first race. Two games to one against Dave Cole, the winner of the winner's bracket. Or I'm sorry, the no loss side. If I have to say one loss side, would it be the no loss side? No. Uh, I don't see what's wrong with winners, really. I mean, you well, won every match you played so far. You're still on the winner's side. Yet people have a problem with the loser's side. Because they don't like being a loser. <laughs> but who does? You have only yeah. yourself to blame. Way too sensitive. All right, here we go. Dave to break. So, second ball break is what he's... See how precise he is? He almost clips the head ball the last time. Which is exactly well, perfect, the... isn't it? That's what you want to do. Almost, exact same almost spot clip the head there. ball. Good shot. I think he's going to be... Happy that 11 rolled up there. I do find, though, that with the second ball break, the layout is often more cluttered and difficult than, you know, what Jeremy's been doing is just blasting the balls all over the table, and they're always just separated. So Dave has a chance to run out here, but he's got to thread the needle. Dave lost on 10 ball. He did not. And these stripes look nice because he's probably considering... You've got to get nicely on the 10 ball well, in the side pocket. 
Patrick, he won the 10-ball event, but he did lose one match to Chris Bondi, who he played in the final. So Chris knocked Dave into the loser's side. Sorry, the one loss the side. The loser's side. Um, moved him over there, and then he came back and double-dipped for the win. So he hasn't gone undefeated the whole tournament. He has lost one match, and that was to Chris Bondi. So I think that was Patrick's point. Oof. Uh, and Dave. Bird solids. But what he didn't prefer is the way that ball didn't go into the pocket. Notice so, it's still on the table. So we've got uh, Tyler Mosier and Pam Kelly playing right now. Uh, I believe in the double A division for the finals and it's Hill Hill. Tyler and Pam Kelly. Hill, I don't Hill. know if that's first match or second match or Oh, spoke too soon. Pam won. So Pam won uh oh yeah, we heard the applause. So Pam Kelly, I think double A. I'll look. Let me just double check. Patrick Glenn's out there too. He can be our man in the field. So Dave missing that first shot has given Jeremy choice. He's still open table. And the balls are even more worse cluttered now than after the break. And we're going to find, even though it's an open table, which, oh, it's not. Yeah, shoots. Brilliant shot. Do a replay quick, Kendall. Hit, hit the button. And with that one shot, he's opened up these stripes, giving himself a really good chance to get out here. So, yeah, it's just a combination. The one four. Beautifully controlled. That's two unforced errors from Dave uh, this match already. I wonder, I mean, he's been sitting a long time. It's the one disadvantage. You know, Jeremy's been yeah. playing through this whole time. Right. So, looks like he's going to leave the one ball till his last shot, and he's going to have to play a little kiss on the ten ball just to open up the eight. Yeah, so just to, just to uh, clarify that, we have Pam Kelly, the winner of the double A mixed eight ball. And uh, she beat out Tyler Moser in the final round. So good shooting to her and uh, obviously to Tyler also. And Pam did have to beat Tyler twice, which it looks like she went ahead and... Oh, I'm sorry, Tyler had to beat Pam twice. He won the first match and then lost on the hill uh, for the final match. Wow. So great great shooting to both those players. Jeremy has got a little... A little Sweet little kiss shot. He's going to just tap the eight ball. Okay, the ten ball opened up nicely. Use those balls to stay perfect on the six. And then uh, just in that same bracket, we had Justin Eilenfeld taking third place. So good shooting to him also. Uh, and that would be a trophy plus 850. And Jacob Kakak. Yeah, he won his uh, B tournament. Oh, he was in the Bs. No wonder he won it. Yeah, he's been playing great. Well, he's not going to be in the Bs next year. No, and I mean, he's been working hard for the year. So, I mean, last year he was definitely still a B, but I mean, he plays all he's the probably time. He's the most he was, improved player. He really is. I mean, he he's was been playing with playing. Mason the entire time. So, you're playing against somebody that will actually help yeah. improve your game, you know. <clears throat> well, Jeremy plays a clinical little out there, using his first shot to set the set those balls up nicely. We've got a tied match here. Well, so I'd be willing to uh, listen to uh, arguments one way or another. This is a conversation, so this isn't. A, I don't want anybody attacking anybody here at all. Um, so there's talk that Pam Kelly should not be allowed to play in the women's. 
because she's able to win the double A Masters. I'm not gonna. I'll I'll save my opinion. No, if she's good, that good, just let her let her go playing. But I'd be curious what other people are thinking. Because some people say that 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 should be that way. In the women's masters. Yeah, they're trying to move her out of all of it, kind of. Well, they that's no they don't want that. her to that's be able to compete in the in the women's divisions at all. I don't think that makes uh, sense because at all. of her skill level. But any other woman who plays that good would be able to play in the women's masters, right? You're saying just because she competes in the. I said I'm. I'm curious yeah. what other people have Crazy. to say about it. I don't. I don't want to offer my opinion yet. If she was still that good, but didn't play against the the men, and then just dominated the women, that would be okay. It would be exactly the same. Why the scratches are just? I don't know what's going on here. That's three breaks, three scratches for Jeremy. Yeah. No. Incredible. Um, so why is Gamora says why separate on gender? Yeah, and pool's really one of the one of the sports where it really doesn't matter, does it? There's no advantage. Yeah, Subkis, there's no there's no question whether or not the men respect her. The men definitely respect her. Everybody respects her. They believe she has a great game. Part of the reason, I mean, that's the thing about our sport. You get too good and they want to get rid of you. You're saying? You know, even the upper players, you know, limiting the tournaments and whatever. I mean, saying the, ma the women's masters don't want to play her. Well, I mean. Is that who's? I mean, who would? Who? I'm not going to call anybody out. I just know that that's the conversation. So, Amy was the only lady in the mixed double A. Yeah, I mean, that's a really good point, Natasha, I guess. So Natasha said, as long as we have a women's division, she should be allowed to play. Uh, either allow her to continue to play or just don't have a women's division, especially since there's the Fargo rating. You know, why, se why separate the genders? Why make, you know? Um, I think that's well stated. Um. But either way, I mean, Masters is uncapped by nature, so you can't say you play too good and you can't play. Right. Otherwise, everybody else is a master, or I mean, a double A, <laughs> you know. I, mean, if you, I don't know. Well, they do say that the Fargo ratings between men and women vary. Like a master woman is like uh, five, what, 580, 600, six plus. I mean, like, what is Maria? Maria is just over a 600, I believe. So he's just kind of gone out of position there, really. He had to go down table. He had too much angle on that last shot in the side pocket. And he ended up kissing the 13 and kind of leaving himself a little bit awkward. He's can still cut the 13, a thin cut on the 13 into the corner pocket and send the cue ball around the table. But uh, it was supposed to be simpler than this. So I was going to offer my opinion, but I'm just going to echo exactly what Natasha said because I think it was effectively put. I think as long as they have a women's division, it's yeah. ridiculous not to allow the best woman in the state to play. Yeah, I agree. He actually has a shot on the 14, too, doesn't he? He does, yep. He can play the 14. He's back cutting the 13 past the 15, looks like to me. And when planning. Just oh, kisses kiss that off. Oh, he's okay. 15. Survived and ended up just perfect. How'd you hit it? You know, and he may have known so he was going to kiss that. He just didn't have much option cutting that ball that, that thin like that. 
And he played at the perfect speed, so it's probably exactly how he played it. Which pocket is the eight ball going in? Uh, same one would be my guess. Same pocket. Two rails. Just like so. And just like that, he's within one of Jeremy trying to rob the tournament from him by double dipping him. <clears throat> Yeah, it's, and it's, it's weird to think that Dave's was only on one there, considering how sort of dominant he started this match. Well, what an absolutely terrific event this has been. I think uh, the organizers did a great job. I think these diamond guys are unbelievable to watch. Yeah. As fast as they put these 118 tables in here, it was incredible. Yeah, and I enjoyed the way they've been playing. Every table has played perfect, honestly. They seem very quick, don't they? And I asked John about that, and he said, well, it's just because it's new, new cloth. Well, scratching and not making balls. That's what we've seen on the break so far between these two. This table's broke tough all tournament. No problem making balls that rack. But two, again. Two straight in the side. All the balls clustered on one side of the table. And he doesn't have a good opening shot at stripes, and I think those are the preferable... And that is suit. why I prefer hitting third ball than, than second ball. Second ball kind of does that. Doesn't really have it. Well, he's got the seven to start the solids if he takes them, which isn't horrible. That two, that one, two combination is there. So seven coming up to the five and then come up three to the one, two. Yeah, you're saying those balls on the side aren't really as big a problem as they look. Not optimal, though. Because you can play a combination on the one, two. I, th I still think if he had a choice between stripes and solids, he would take he, stripes. He could bang was. the ten if he wants. Yeah, it's not that, it's not that big of a difference. I don't think there's still an out for the seven, or I mean for the solids. The stripes does look a lot nicer. Yeah, just more controllable, I think. Honestly, one bank shot and it's he's out. Vincent, they're all brand new at this particular tournament. So every one of these is brand new, um, and they travel. They're going to go to Minnesota uh, for the uh -oh, for the next or for the state tournament there. Once they leave Minnesota, they go directly to Vegas for the Vegas tournament. So, hmm. got Gerald checking in, saying uh, congratulations to Pam Kelly and go Dave. So. Well, Jeremy's been gifted this one. Yeah, now he does get to take those stripes that were optimal. And use the 13 to go down, get get on the 12 ball here, and there's, everything's, everything's open. I'm going to have to play between the... No, he didn't. He came across. Oh. Careful. Well, that could have got hooked up underneath that seven. He would have been in trouble. Yeah, here I guess it's better to be on this side. I mean, it's not quite what he wanted, but at least you're not straight. The way I was thinking, rolling forward, you kind of end up very straight on the 12 ball. I think I would just not worry about it, come down all the way down for the nine, not even try and hold this for the 10. Just let it fly down. No, that's better anyway, because right? you can use the 10 to get on the eight. Well, he stayed up for the 11 instead. It's probably even better yet. I kind of like the 11 to get to the 8, though, honestly. I would have came down for the 9. To I like the, the 10 to get to the 8. Yeah. And, of course, the 9 will work well for that, too. I mean, it's 
the windows that you got to make sure you don't hook yourself behind that way. So he's going to want to stay kind of not drift down table here and leave himself a nice angle for this nine. So you're going to see him either stop this ball or even curl it back a little bit. Shot. Yeah, he wanted a, more of an angle on this nine, doesn't he? So he can it's pretty good here, just roll it in instead of having to. Pretty good here. You got to maybe maybe hold it away a little bit, so a little bit low. Just to kind of give it a rolling shot kind of goes into the eight or behind the four yeah. ball, doesn't it? Yeah, so just a little low, stretch that angle out, and he ended up perfect on the eight. Good shot. And great out there by Jeremy. So taking advantage again, Dave missing early in the rack on that seven ball and uh, setting Jeremy up for another win. So four games to two, race to seven in this first set of a possible two. This is the men's final for the Masters Division here at WSPA State 2023. The last match in the room, the way it should be. Everything else is concluded. We could probably, is there somewhere we can go look? Is it on the site? Go down a list of our winners um, and runners up. You could, well, we could look into each each one. I bet there is probably. I don't know if it's updated. <clears throat> All right, Jeremy in previous matches had been breaking really well. And considering he's been breaking badly so far in this match, uh, every every break's been a mistake. Um, it's been a scratch, right? It's every quite, time. He's got to be happy that he's uh, winning this match. Uh, he's going to try and break better this time. He's switching, though. He's, he's, he's down. I know he's on the side, yeah. He's still going to the head ball, though. No, nope. no, he did go second ball. Yeah, and I think he clipped the head ball. Five ball to just hang up. Can't believe that didn't drop in. Dry break. Well, I think a dry break is better than a scratch on the break, honestly. Uh, in the previous match, or previous two matches for Jeremy, where he was playing on this table, he was breaking absolutely perfect every time. I'd Blasting balls all over the table, controlling the cue ball. I'm going to go out on a pockets. limb here and tell you that I think Dave is out. And that is a nice open table, isn't it? Sure. Still looks got good. to plan it right. Still, that's the thing about this game that makes it so tough. Yeah, I mean it's the three ball. You got to get the six five out of there first, and then the three ball is your. So one to the five to the six. So all three of those balls, the five, three. the six, and the three, all going into the same corner pocket. There's a hundred ways to go about this. So let's see what Dave does. So much of them when they're like this, it's all perspective from the table view. Cause yeah, you you don't know how the ball's lying unless you go and have a go behind it and look. Needs to use oh the boy, six ball, I think, to shot. somehow get on the three maybe, but uh, not necessarily because the two ball's there to help you do that. Yeah, so get a nice angle on the two yeah, right. to get on the three. And then the three, of course, goes in the same pocket that the six ball's just about to. I mean, I would guess he's going to six to the seven or the four here and leave the two, three last before the eight but i maybe not could get the two three out of there first but yeah he's played that angle on the two ball that he's just looked he looked at and now he's planning what angle he wants on the three ball to get back up table patrick is the man Interesting shot choice, that, really. It was sort of awkward because of the angle he had, and so he's ended up drifting into the 13 ball, which he had to know he was going close to. Why? Because he wanted to take these balls out first, like you said, and leave the two and the three till last. 
I didn't think these two balls up here really mattered much. Or maybe that's exactly what this was all about, was that lovely angle on the seven. And he's now on the three ball without using the two to do it. Look at that. That was brilliant. So that answers the question why. He used these two balls up table to give himself that nice angle. To come down on, on the three. Judges that almost perfectly, or at least close enough, that it didn't hurt. Really nice, uh, interesting pattern that that he chose. It's that Z bank position shot on the seven to get down for the three and pick that. Wobbles its way in, and that still counts. Tightens it up even more, three to four. Yeah, Dave Coles is going nowhere. He's planning on winning this, and of course, even if he does lose this set, Jeremy's still got to beat him again. But uh, Dave is not planning on going that route. Uh, he's breaking now, and... planning on running out, tying the match up, storming ahead. Let's see if he keeps up with his second ball break, which has been leaving these really awkward lies. Well, made one on the break, eight, kept the cue ball on the table. Eight ball break, and he did still send that big cluster of balls over to the side of the table, but this time they all kind of drifted higher, more over the side pocket, um, which makes it a lot better than when they were all kind of in the middle of the rail, like in the last rack, or the last uh, game he broke. And a quick scan of the table says that stripes are wide open and stripes are the group that sort of not exactly control the eight but make the eight ball awkward for solids for stripes the eight ball is no problem and so he's playing He's not playing the 615 combination, is he? That's no, no two ball. He likes solids. Okay. He doesn't like your stripes. No. I like solids here. I think that's a not bad. Little, little yeah, I mean, the eight ball shot, is in the open. It's only got one pocket, but it's still open. Just doesn't have any solids close to getting down there, close to the eight ball, but... You can still get down, get position on it. Got the seven ball up table that has to go on. You've got, got to go up and fetch that at some point. And this.
Yeah. So both the one and the six go in the corner pocket. He's just planning, drifting over and getting nicely straight on the four ball. So he wants a, a nice little angle on the six ball. And he's got it. So he can use the six ball now to get on the four. Now he could choose to get the one ball gone first, use the one to get on the six in the side and still get there. But no, it is six ball. A little bump on the four to get position. And he's still got to figure out how he's going to nip up table and get the seven ball out of there. Leave the seven till last now. Seven can get you on the eight. So you might as well take the four and get the one ball. Otherwise, it's a lot of up and down. Yeah. So what he's shown you there is he wants to play the one in the side and be on the right angle to use that to send, go down for the seven. So he's cut across the, the straight line, maybe a little bit too much. Uh, it's definitely not ideal. The one ball still goes in the side. The cue ball's got more speed than you'd like at that point. It goes down there, right where he's pointing on the seven. If you hit it too hard, you end up hooking yourself behind the nine. But the speed is just perfect. Coming out for the eight. You can just bump out for the eight on the side. Or the long corner. I guess the side makes more sense, doesn't it? Yeah, killed it coming off the rail and ended up straight in per on that eight. Perfect speed control. Well, that ties the match up. 4-4 four, four in a race to seven. And Dave coming back like a ste steaming locomotive. All right, take a second here, and we'll kind of go over. We'll start with the mixed B nine ball finals. So we had our very own Chris G. Took Mr. That G thing himself down. Yep. taking then, down uh, the B division. Right down what? the list there. Fantastic. That's his best tournament ever. Yeah, he did. Good job. Uh, he's, he's the most improved player. So that uh, goes through 12th. We've got two more to show you here quick. So that's 13th and on down to, all the way to 24th. And last. Kind of missed that one. That's the same list. And we'll bring the other ones in so you can check those out in a minute. All right, Jeremy needs a better break. There you went to the head ball like, like we talked about. Still nothing. <clears throat> I just don't know why he doesn't go back to just slug in the head ball like he was in his previous matches because it was working so well. Yeah, I'm not real sure.
you know, because of that strange little cluster of three solids around the 11 ball and the fact that there aren't that many other stripes anywhere near that poor 11 except perhaps the 15 you might be able to do something with that to break out the 11 um, that makes uh, solids I mean stripes sort of problematic With solids, there's more ways to sort of pick it off. But if you do want solids, you've got to make one in this next shot. Now, uh, he might be on the on the one ball. He's definitely obviously got a, a thin cut snick shot on the three ball. which he hangs in the pocket, leaving open table for Jeremy. So here we have our mixed A nine ball division results. Jeff Gerald Martin taking it down. Wow. He runs the tournament and wins it. Yep, against uh, Paul Bangert. Taking second, and then Dalton Box taking third. And, and Derek. Right, yeah, look at that. Derek Our took fourth. Derek, Good fourth for him. Yeah. Trick shot here by Jeremy, dumping two at a time. Didn't hurt him, didn't really help him. It would have been nice almost to leave it hang there, but I think he's got this rack worked out. He's just got to get down table. Probably for the combination next. <coughs> Looking like a perfect angle. We're just playing the combination, are we, on the 2-1? The, the yeah, that's... Oh, did you call something different? No. Oh, I see. Yeah, two one combination. I mean, those balls both go the other way, but obviously from there you're playing a combination. Yeah, it's like pretty that. easy. So the only right issue is the where floor. does two ball go? And that's ridiculous. I hit that's it too, really too hard. You both hit that shot up there, soft enough that the balls can't get to to any danger areas. Um, not to mention the fact that you ha you're forced into getting straight on this four ball, so you can't even do much with it. He said Je Jeff Martin had half his family in the stream rooting for him on his final match. Oh, that's awesome. That's that, awesome. How fun is that? Well, and we get to experience that almost on a weekly basis uh, because every time we have the King of the Hill match, you've got family and friends yeah, tuning in and definitely showing their support. Must have this in the side pocket. Yeah, I mean, he's telling us no problem. No issue whatsoever. Jeremy's going to get back to five, so take the lead again after Dave came back, tied things up. All right, Dave calls. I'm sure he's going to stick with his second ball break here. Hi there, Mr. Glenn. Captain, Captain Patrick Glenn is here. I don't know, were you Pat? You were, weren't a captain, were you? No. Gunny. You can't call these military guys by the wrong 
Well, everybody. Okay. Every, cool. I call everybody captain. It's a Star Trek thing. Dry break. Open up pretty good. It's the results from the mixed double A ten ball tournament. Shane Winkle. He plays great. I played him last year. In the A division. Knocked him into fourth place. Justin Einfeld. Oh. Yeah, see, that's a very British thing, isn't it? Andrew Donald said, just an observation. There isn't a flap of material put down during the rack up. Oh, right. That's right. Yeah, I've seen that in the uh, those British pub or whatever. We call it pool, but yeah, they, what they're calling black Darn pool. Americans were so yeah, reckless. They do. They, they reckless. Pull, they have a... Because you're always picking the balls out of the tray at the bottom and... Slapping them on the uh, cloth when you're right before you rack. Nice little bump there by uh, they do. They Jeremy. Put a bit of cloth down. Yeah, they never do that here, Andrew. Just because we're reckless. So the real thing that has, you know, he's probably already figured out is the five and the seven ball. You know, the seven doesn't really have a pocket. Is there a, a three ball combination there to pop them open? But that seems reckless. Something tells me there's probably a better way to do it. Kind of surprised he's not just going to shoot the four and come back across here. I don't really see any reason to stretch for this three. And he's having a good old thing. So there's something here. He's not, it's not quite clear for him here. And he's yeah, been he's, looking he at the did. three he and the four changes, ball and trying to figure them out for some time changed. now. I'd be my, all my time would be spent thinking about the five and the seven. What's the matter with us? Well, the seven doesn't. Seven goes past the fifteen. Okay, what do you do? Get straight on the five and draw back to get on the seven. I think he's going to draw straight get back the over seven. there right now. Honestly, all he's right. got the he's got the two ball. So you come back here, you try and get on the five. Kick over for the kick, make the five, kick the 11 out of the way, play the two next, and set for the wherever the seven ends out. But you should be able to make the five and get the 11 out of the way. Relocate the 11, you're saying, is the plan. Yeah, unless he gets an angle where he can draw back, it does go past the 15 also, but I think you're going to see him draw back for the five right here. You could draw all and the maybe way, far enough the way. for the two, yeah. He could right. draw onto the seven ball now almost. No, okay, he's not doing no, that. Oh, I don't know if he's going to like this. Did he get the right angle on that five? Yeah, I guess he did. Looking at the overhead, it looks like he probably has it. So he might, if he can see this, he may be able to pocket this ball, roll forward, and bump the ten. Yeah, kiss on the, if you could do that, kiss on the ten would... Leave you nicely on the seven, but yeah, so he's on the other of side left. of the shot, though. I don't think he can. He's, well, he's drawing. See, he's going to pop the ten, the 11 out of the way. Come back for the two. Oh, he didn't oh, even. Oh, See, he was exactly. straight enough, so the Absolutely seven goes. Yeah. That's what I thought, said first. Yeah, in order for that to work, you had to be sort of dead straight on that five, which he managed to make it. He had to, of course, cheat the pocket to yeah, hit that I didn't straight. think he was that straight either, so. Oh, it's kind of funny. He might even take the two yet. Just because you have a little nice angle on the two where you could just draw back yeah. and, and get a better shot on the seven. The problem with that is getting on the eight. So if you 
Maybe if over... you dare cut the seven ball in and negotiate this kiss on the 11. I think this is a yeah. bit more dangerous. I... So if he hits this well, I think he's going to use the 11 to stop the cue ball. Well, it's definitely going to hit it twice. No, it didn't. He threw it to the oh, side. And it just drifted off sideways. Wow. Ironically enough, you guys can't hear it, but the song Jump is in the background. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's, exactly that's what you're what gonna, gonna do now. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and jump. That's what the line just said. <laughs> hey you, who said that? Yeah. We were just pointing that out. Patrick Glenn just stuck his head. Yeah, Jeremy Jeremy just said something along those lines to uh, Dave. Yeah. It's funny. About the song, yeah. All right, enough joking around. Serious, he's got this ball into the... And here's a jump shot where you don't want to play a stop shot. Oh, he's no, digging he's, down, so yeah, he's, he's trying to... Draw he thinks he's got a little this. angle, yeah. So he's trying to play a jump draw. Oh, boy. Well, this is going to set Dave up for the opportunity to tie things back up at five in our first of possibly two races. Jeremy Fetkenhauer coming from the loser's side, trying to beat Dave Cole, who's sitting on top of the bracket here. Race to seven this time. If Jeremy would happen to pull this one out, the next race will be a race to six. Right. Because now they're both on the on the loser's side. One loss. I know. I feel so insensitive when I say that now. So he's going to go forward here and take out the 13 and probably leave the nine ball till last. He's got a choice here and both of them are pretty nice. I mean, he can find a way to get on the 11. It seems fairly simple. There's really no reason to take the combination even though the combination wouldn't be that difficult. Inside spin, three rails around for the 10. Let's we'll get fairly straight on this nine. Just short, short of straight. Just not oh, too much angle. Through the window. Go. That's perfect right there. Just soft, sweet draw and just drift out. Gonna end up straight on the eight. There it is, Dave tying things up here. Five games to five. Race to seven. Jeremy's break, I believe. Tied up, yeah. So this next rack, see who gets to the hill first. This is the big one. Now, if I was Jeremy's coach right now, I'd be saying, go back to that break you were shooting before in those other matches. And one of those matches was on this table, and it was just working great. He was whacking at the 
head ball. Nice and solid. Balls blast all over the table. Balls fall in, in pockets. There you go. He's gone back to the middle. That he, is he definitely where that. his break was most yeah. successful all day. He's been doing so well with this one. He's not hitting it there, square. Geez, there it goes again. He was hitting it more square than that. If you hit it square enough, it can never go to the side rails or into the scratch. Wow, that's just a gift right there because uh. Dave's going to take advantage here. I can... I bet an awful lot on this rack. Stripes look perfect. You got to get the 12 ball out of there. That's probably the only tough shot. Yeah, and with ball in hand, that's not tough. Well, maybe he doesn't want to roll it in the side. So with ball in hand, the 12 ball does not have a pocket. Uh, it, uh, I mean, that's side pocket. Nothing wrong with that shot. Shoot it right now, you're saying? Yeah. It's very, very thin into the side pocket. Yeah, of course you do, though, because once this goes in, you've got to hit it accurately, but he will. I think he's going to come up for the 15, so he's probably going to go 12 here in the side. And I wouldn't want any angle. If I'm setting up that ball in hand, I would be absolutely straight to make sure I made that ball in the, tw in, yeah. in the side pocket. 12 to the 15, out to the 14 in the same side as the 12. Right, and that's where he's looking at that angle for that 14 in the same side as the 12, like you just said. Yeah, but it looks like he might start different. He's going to start on the 13. Wow. So is he... He could play the 12 off the 6 if he doesn't like that. Well, that's... Playing one, side, one pocket to the side pocket for the first three shots? That'd be something, wouldn't it? thing I don't like about this is you have to play really exacting position to get on the 12 if you really are going to play in the side pocket. Well, to get on it, right? If you yeah, don't play to get it, on it, I think getting on it is tough. That's why you take it with ball in hand first. I really do think it's 12 there to the side, go. 15 yeah, that's to what the 14. Says. There's no good other ways to... No, obviously, there is other good ways, but... To the 11, to the 13, to the... So is this going to roll four gently, like well, you said, for the 15? Yeah, you want the 11 last, doesn't like maybe. it. There's something about this he doesn't like. Still shaking his head. He's going to pick the cube up again. And... Bump the 12. A full-faced kiss. Bump the 12 off the rail, out into the Think open. So. Maybe. Didn't really help much because no, because the made double, it worse, really. double kiss, but yeah, made it tougher that's, in the that's side. That's he was playing, but yeah, he's not helped that at all. Um, once the 15 has gone, of course, it will it yeah. will go in the long corner. I mean, it's just tough to get. So on if you can get 15 to the 13 right now, and then 13 on over. It's still he definitely patches. Thinking, how about the 11-15 combination? Leave the 11 hanging rather than sort of awkward to get on. Well, it took him a long time to come up with that sh that last shot that he shot, and he wishes he spent a little bit more time on it to come up with a different one. I guess he consider the combination here, actually. It's not that tough. Yeah, it's that's what I said. Just roll it in. Yeah, as leave, I said. Leave the 11, yeah. Leave the 11 over the pocket or yeah, close to. You actually don't really want it interfering with the path of the 12 ball unless it's really deep in the pocket and then well, you can combination the 12 onto it. I think the thing I like about the combination is the idea that it's uh, going to give you an angle to come down for the to bump the 12 again or something of that effect anyways. Give you some. Oh, okay, yeah, if you end up with a... <coughs> shot on the 11. After playing the combination, you end up with a shot on the 11 to play a break shot on the 12. All right, Dave going off the rail first. Going to wow. single that ball out.
pocket the 15, come around for the 13 would be my guess. Well, from there, he's on. You couldn't get any better on the bank shot. Oh, no, this is perfect. What do you mean? 13, he's going to roll up, bump into the one, or or stay between the one and the six. Really? Thread the needle around the back of those balls. Uh, he's got a natural angle coming into it. He hit that good, I think. Again, it's way tougher from up here to determine his exact yeah. angle, but I think he can hold this in there. Use the 13 to get on the 12. Well, yeah, bank, bank it. You want it? Why not just pop it in and be done? So it is. Shot. Now the eleven's better to get to the eight, but yeah. it's well, harder it's to get to it. Yeah, right. It's a sort of is is exactly yeah. right. I think I almost play the eleven. Yeah, to the get the eleven out there. there. If you get nicely on this last ball. How's that? That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Enough angle where the cue wall has to go to the side rail. He's got to pick a route here and make sure he doesn't bring that cluster of three solids into play as he weaves his way up table for the eight. Hello, cattle. What? He's drawing, so I think he's going straight off one rail all the way down to the eight ball, bringing all, taking all those other balls out of play, and that was brilliant. That window was tiny, actually, between the five and the two. If you do a replay on that, Kendall. I'll um, take it in. Did we get it in time? Probably not. But that, be that, that positional shot was beautiful. Yeah, let's take a quick look here. He's too busy watching the bot and chat. So he puts a lot of sort of soft, sweet draw on this so that he doesn't have to Z-bank up table. Let's the take a look. We'll, we'll just watch both Normally of these Normally you'd Z-bank, but those balls are in the way. Between the five and the two. I mean, that's a, actually a very small window, which he sent the cue right through. A joy to watch. Oh, it's just a great job. Must have been hit already. Takes the lead in this match. One game away and from two on state hill. titles at the that same a, state tournament. That was a big rack. So he's hitting the second ball here. <gasps> and it's his turn to jump the cue ball off. All right, give him an opportunity. He gave it a little. And that's the thing about the second ball break. You can't give it your absolute full break shot. And he gave that a little bit too much. And instead of breaking with a, a chance to run out and take the state championships, Jeremy now has a chance to run out and tie this match up. 13-6 are a problem. 13, you'd want to get out of there first if you decided on stripes, which is a viable choice, I think. Yeah, I think solids. I... Well, I don't mind solids. Once the four ball's gone, the one ball goes. With ball I think in the hand, one actually with goes by the ball in hand. You take the six the ball first to the seven. So six to the seven, and then continue on with those balls up table. Yeah, and try try and get on the four soon after that. If 
you're looking at stripes, you have to know how that 11 ball sits. It looks like it's off the rail and goes into the side pocket nicely. The 13 is a problem. So with ball in hand, you could take the 13 first. The nine ball is still a problem, so. Yeah, solids. How about draw back on this shot on the seven and kiss the eight ball and the nine ball free, opening up the eight ball a little bit and staying on the seven, on the six. Is that what he's thinking? Is he drawing back to play a kiss on these balls? No, of course not. He's jacked up over these nine ball. Striking high and still getting a kiss on the eight. Oh, so that that was the idea. He bumped the eight ball into into out into the open, and left himself on the six. So that's this end of the table sorted. One thinks that next he want after this six he wants to be on the four because it clears the pocket for the one, and he can use those other balls in the side pocket to get back around on the one. He's got a choice of two shots here. Five of the four. Put a lot of draw on this ball. The one, what's the question here? Sarge says the one for the eight. What are you talking about? Did you mis misspeak possibly or what? Who, what? I don't know. Still trouble with the one. Yeah, somehow he's nudged those balls, isn't he? Would that 12 move or not? Just the one ball must still go, otherwise, because he's just shooting like, like, like it does. Where does it go? I think he's. It has to go right in the corner pocket. Past the 12. That goes. I really can't tell on these cameras. Let's take a look at the overhead and see if that helps us determine. I guess it does. From there, it looks yeah, easy, doesn't it? Sure it? From does. the other one, it does. <laughs> so he's got to really negotiate this shot, too. Z, Z across. Yeah, okay, he's perfect. Straight on the eight. Bringing things to Hill Hill in the no. first of a possible two. If Jeremy can finish this thing out, finish this rack, and get the next, we will see another set to six for the state championship. Eight ball. WSPA 2023 puts that down to tie it up. First part comes true. Well, it's been an incredible match so far, and most of the mistakes have happened on the break. Um. Yeah, and actually, if we talk about misses, I would say that Dave has actually missed a couple more balls than Jeremy has, uh, but Jeremy's break has really hurt him. Oh, I see. Stack them and rack them? Oh, no, you can't do that here. It's only gambling. What's that mean? Double it. You double it and start over the race. Nice potting rate, mate, he says. Who said that? Side rail.
All right, hit it square enough that the cue ball can't can't get to a side rail or a pocket. Well, that one did, and so he oh can consider himself. <laughs> oh, did it still go in? Unbelievable! Honestly, I, I was just about to say he can <laughs> consider himself lucky that he didn't scratch. Rimony. The billiards guard stopped him going in up table. That's uh, that but it ended up going in anyway. This is just getting crazy. The cue ball always going sideways to the right. I thought he was safe. He had the cue ball <laughs> in a pretty good spot. Wow. Wow, right. that is right. All right, so on the hill, Dave Cole. Yet, yet another full table because he didn't make anything. Turnover on the break. Four, five, six. Oh no. Yeah, he did not make a stripe. One, two, three, four. Or a solid. Or a solid. So it was a dry break and a scratch. But he did blast them all over the table. So Dave is saying, if I can get that 14 out of there, there's not many problems left does that 14 go past the nine into the long corner it must yeah it looks like that's what he's about that's to shoot. what he's shooting yeah. yeah if it does then the only other tight window you have is getting up to the 11 yeah Gerald says, come on, Dave, time to punch the clock. Go to work. And the 11 ball, you can kind of chip in with a sort of a half ball angle. You don't have to get down there sort of straight on it, do you? Princess, where have you been all day? All weekend, actually. Good to see you. Hi, Lisa. Guess it could be the last game. I think you're predicting that uh, Dave runs these out. I like this shot right here to play to the 11. Yeah. Back cut this, play off the side rail and out for the 11 ball. It's a good angle for it right now. Whether he decides to do it or not, I don't know. Looks like he's going to take the 13. Yeah, I mean, he's got an angle on this. What is that? The 15 ball up there close to the three. He could shoot that in and end up on, off one rail nicely on the 11. Uh, Lisa, unfortunately, I decided not to play uh, this year because I had too much to work on. I had screen printing and also the stream. So uh, I played perfect. I did not lose a single match uh -huh. all weekend long. So that's the secret. Yes. Sounds good, Albert. Yeah, give me a call. We can talk about it. Uh, John Fields, I think, what did he take? Fourth, Masters 10 ball. Do you have that list too? You should put that one up. We did. I thought I put it up already. Masters 10 ball. There we'll look. So what is what Dave's looking at there is what angle he can chip this eleven ball in from. So he doesn't have to get down there to shoot that ball. He can cut it in from up out in the middle of the table. And there you go. He's speed to get on that line that he just picked. So success in getting on the eleven. He's good there. He's on the nine. Five balls away from his second state title for the year. And in this one, if he wins this rack, he gets out, wins this match, uh, undefeated. Here's the results from uh, Mixed Masters 10 ball again. 
There's Dave Coles himself at the top. Chris Bondi put on one heck of a show. Jeremy Fetkenauer, who we were watching right now, taking third. John Fields, who you asked about, fourth place. And yeah. then fifth, sixth, we had Duncan Kaufman, Tyler Westhouse. Yeah, I was talking to him. Uh, he's 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 having had a good tournament. He wishes he, he could have gone further. But Well, let this one roll. That was a great shot. Um, he, he's he's on the ten ball, which means he can take it now. Yeah, I don't know that he wants to, does he? <clears throat> no, he was just coming around for this. Well, maybe yeah, he is going to, going to get it out of there right away. If you can get out without getting in trouble with the one ball, don't want to s nudge the one ball, really. Don't want, don't want it to freeze on the eight or anything. Yeah, I don't want to touch anything. So if he's got it, yeah. There you go. Perfect. Well, here it is, folks. Three balls to go. Take down his second state championship of the year. Nine ball. Oh, no, ten oh, ball. Ten yeah, ball, ten ball yeah. and eight ball. Two. Dominating a super strong field. I mean, if you look at that list of that you just had up on the screen. Oh, yeah, beautiful. What a, what a strong list of strong <laughs> Wisconsin pool players there are. And uh, Dave Coles has dominated them For the all win. in ten ball and eight ball. Fantastic nice job, performance. Dave. Friendly handshake. Congrats to Jeremy for doing so well. Yeah, everybody played Playing great. Playing so good. But Here could it is not for stop. the state championship once again. Dave Coles. Great job there. And we'll give you a room view back out. Maybe. The room got smaller. Hey, congratulations. Congratulations, Dave. Good. Oh, that was good. Missed a couple, but he said he played terrible. <laughs> There's an awful lot of people that would like to play as terrible as Dave. So yeah. uh, I want to thank you guys again for joining us. It's been a great tournament. We appreciate everything. Uh, that we're given the opportunity to participate in to improve our sport. So I hope you enjoyed everything we did all week. And uh, we surely appreciate uh, the folks over at WSBA for having us. And uh, we appreciate you folks for watching us. So uh, thank you very much. And MH, yep. thank you. Thanks for, for having me. Yeah, we want to thank everybody for here. watching, especially the one in with Liscom. Um, there you and, go. Yeah, uh, everybody thanks. Andrew. I've had fun. Yeah, awesome. So we've had fun with you guys. We'll leave it on the room for a while. If you guys want to just watch everybody kind of file out and they should be ripping these tables down but we're going to rip the stream down here in about 10 minutes i knew you were going to say here, that so. all right sounds good thanks again guys